Hey, how's it going, guys? My name is Jackie Fish, and welcome back to our Henry campaign for Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlords as we try to propel the glorious nation of Belandia to greatness. And hopefully, in this episode, we'll be taking ourselves our very first city. And it's not a shabby city either. This city is very mighty, it has three firths attached to it. So, that should make us a ton of money if we can obviously take it. We are assembling an army right now and there seems like a Western Empire Lord right here that I'd be more than happy to chase down and try and capture. I wouldn't mind just engaging him myself. Obviously I will wait for reinforcements if they can arrive in time. Hopefully we are just closing the distance and I can maybe encourage this guy to... Yeah, there we go. We pin this dude in place. We're going to be starting off this episode with a pretty exciting uh, engagement. Yeah, he's going to catch him I think. If not, if he can't, I know I definitely can. And we can do this as well because we are just mainly waiting for reinforcements to arrive and look at that. Boom. Just like that, we've absolutely caught him. And I guess why not? Let's fight this one, even though it is going to be pretty one-sided. Let's just get stuck in. Um, and this is my army as well, so I get to control everything. So I get to control everybody's forces, which is actually really, really, really juicy. So we get to do that. Uh, also, I think we got some new armor last episode as well. So this armor is extremely tanky, and we are looking very good indeed. We also picked up a brand new huge great axe as well. So we're going to be swinging that bad boy around. Uh, so something I've been doing quite a lot, actually, in my live streams and in my most recent videos, is I've been giving over command of these soldiers over to the AI, at least like the cavalry, because the AI does stuff that the player just doesn't have the option to do. So for example, if I give over my cavalry Sergeant, over to cover. the AI, you can see all of a sudden in the bottom left hand corner, the AI is protecting left flank, protecting right flank. And I don't get the ability to do that. Maybe you do get the ability to do that if you get further along the tactics screen or with the tactics level. But obviously at the moment, I can't quite do that. Um, I also like to do that also with my uh, my missiles as well. Because the missiles will kind of do their own thing. And will personally just control the infantry. Because a lot of the units revolve around the infantry. The archers hide behind the infantry. Oh wow, that arrow actually hit me. Uh, the cavalry kind of move up alongside it. So at least that way we're not overwhelmed. And we're not going to get destroyed by, you know, by the AI doing anything. And we can always command the infantry tell them to charge and all that lovely stuff um so let's just continue to advance our formation and basically i can command everything in my army just with the infantry because everything the ai is commanding now plays directly off of that like look at that the missiles are moving up because i told the infantry to move up the cavalry is going to be protecting the flanks no, sometimes it's not going to be like it. Sometimes it's not going to be great that I do that, that that I do this because the cavalry might just charge into their infantry, get slaughtered, and so on. But I can always just take command if I see stuff like that happening. So we're going to start ranging off shots. Obviously, we have a lot more missiles than them, so we're just going to play with it safe, force them to come to us. You know, let our missiles do their job, um, and yeah, just hammer away. I'm also actually using a mod Sergeant as well. Oh, I did not mean to do that. I did not mean to tell my infantry to... Infantry, come back onto me. No, come back on me, infantry. Come back on me. I don't want to go too far up. So, yeah, let's just sit back. I'm actually wasting a lot of chance to actually shoot them right now, which is really bad of me. Uh, but let's just get a little bit of a misclick there. Little missiles. Just continue to hammer them as they come closer and closer. And I might just counter charge my, uh, my cavalry pretty soon. Yeah, let's counter charge the... Uh, sorry, the infantry can go in now as we do just outnumber them so heavily. And now let's get our, get our spear out and look to try and take out some of this cavalry maybe. Oh, actually, the cavalry got away. It's time to get the great axe out. And yeah, I mean, most of their men are already starting to rout. Oh my god, I just killed two people with one swing with this axe. Man, the two-handed axes are just insane. They really are. Uh, but yeah, I don't know if I interrupted myself there. Um, but I, I'm using a mod that uh, doubles the experience gain through skills and just skills alone. Um, so the skills uh, will be getting up two times faster. And I found that's a much better rate. Because uh, previously, I wasn't even getting past, like, the fourth or fifth skill unless I was really trying to do it. Unlike most playthroughs, like, in my playthrough where I'm, like, 600 days in or something, uh, I'm still, like, nowhere near, you know, unlocking any of the cool abilities. And, yes, I'm not really focusing on them, but I feel like a lot of the skills should be at least semi-passive. Like, stuff like trading, yeah, you should have to focus on, but even, like, one-handed skill fighting, which I've been doing since the beginning of the game, was still taking forever to, uh, to try and complete. Um, so this will be nice. We'll just take some people prisoner. Yeah, we'll take this guy prisoner. We could release him, um, but I don't think... I think we'll just take him prisoner for now and try and sell him. Uh, again, we can get our trade skill up if we try and sell him in our own castle, which will be nice. Uh, we also have some more infantry we can level up. Again, I, I'm gonna, I might even just get rid of his sea raider chief or just send him in in his own group to glory and death at some point because I always try and upgrade him by mistake. 
Uh, but nice, we'll take... Okay, so I'm going to take everything now. You guys seem extremely triggered, but I don't take the low, uh, the low items. So I'm, from now on, I'm just taking everything, and hopefully that'll make you guys happy. Uh, nice thing is we have plenty of food. I could try and pick up some food from this Britannian place just quickly before we go in, uh, just so we don't run out. And I guess any extra men that we can grab... Oh, we're actually at our limit right now, uh, so that's fine. Um, we might have to also start using some Imperial men if we take this city. Again, we have enough influence to hopefully buy it for ourselves, but still, we don't want to risk it. They have no food here whatsoever. Um, normally, they have at least some. And this is just like assault my weight. Hello? Do you want to do you want to fight again? Yeah, what the hell is he doing? Uh, we need to be kind of careful, though, because obviously they can get uh, they can fight us. And uh, yeah, he's going to chase him as well. Uh, we can probably trap this lord as well. I guess it's good killing their lords. Okay, we might actually have a big battle outside the city. What's the garrison of the city? Oh my god, the garrison is... 362 men. That's a little bit scary. We might have to try and get a few more lords over here. I mean, is there any more lords we could try and arguably get over here? Um, everyone else is relatively in a, in a place or really far away. But maybe another 95 men would be good. So let's try and grab him over as well. I mean, we are still waiting for plenty more men, but it looks like he's going to chase him. Something I found that the AI does is the AI just chases the enemy uh, when you're in an army instead of forming up with you, which is kind of annoying. Oh, this guy's uh, got caught. Yeah, but we really need to... Oh, there we go. We've caught him perfect. Yeah, he's caught him perfect. So we'll just get stuck in here. Help out our, our reinforcements. Wait, there we go. Help out our reinforcements. Um, again, probably don't need to fight this one. But again, I want to minimize casualties. Uh, we'll, we'll just charge the enemy because there's so few of them this time. Um, but yeah, generally, you could just probably auto-resolve this. But we're about to fight a siege. And the siege has 300 men in. So uh, yeah, we probably don't want to do that. And we'll get the cavalry on me as well. Um, so, yeah, let's, let's just follow me, cavalry. And we'll just charge them down. I mean, I'm pretty sure our cavalry charge of Landian knights would be able to rinse them anyway. Uh, but we'll just continue to move up. Oh, we also need to re remove one of my companions there as well. That's funny. Can we, uh, can we coach this lance? Or couch this lance? Oh, well, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, there you go. The cavalry's been, uh, been slaughtered there. I'll take it. And let's just, yeah, I mean, the cavalry can just charge as well. I can't imagine they'll be, uh, too dangerous. For us to deal with. Even the missiles. There's not really enough missiles here. Oh my god, we got put down. Oh, we're so dead. Men on me. Cavalry on me. I need the cavalry, boys. I'm telling the cavalry to get over here. Woo, that, was, that was lucky. Cavalry saved me there. And we'll just whip out our axe and bring down whoever was trying to strike us. Oh, this axe is just. If this axe has huge range as well. So you can really keep the enemy at bay. There we go. We did take some unnecessary damage there, but the battle was obviously so one-sided. Um, let me know in the comments as well, guys. I was thinking about turning not my damage taken up to realistic, because apparently you get hit by a rock and you die. Um, but I was thinking of turning up the damage uh, taken to my army up to a bit higher, to like realistic maybe. Uh, and seeing how that goes. Maybe just turn up the damage taken to friendly parties maybe. I'm not too sure. Uh, there we go. We've, uh, we've defeated that. And I'll let this guy catch up to me as well. Uh, there we go. We've got a few more men. We can probably chase this guy into the, uh, the enemy army. There you go. A big group of men turning up. We catch him. Nice. We caught this guy. We can auto-resolve this guy, though. So that should be, hopefully, the majority of their lords taken care of. Um, so, yeah, we'll take him prisoner as well. And that should be, yeah, as I said, the majority of the, uh, the, the western lords already taken out. So we sh they shouldn't be able to receive any reinforcements. Uh, we only lost a man as well. I guess it's... Uh, it's okay. I'll take that and we uh, yeah, should do a few other upgrades as well. I don't think we need any more cavalry for now. Our cavalry force is looking extremely deadly uh, at the moment at least. So I think we're fine there. Wait, is it? Are we, are we missing something here? Wait, do we only have three horses in our own party? I could have Maybe we lost them in that battle. I don't know. I could have sworn we had a few more, but I guess it's everyone else's uh, coming into play. Uh, let's double check this as well. You guys are getting pretty tricky, but I wasn't upgrading my guys as well. So I'll be sure to look at that. Um, okay, this is a bit better for her, so we'll upgrade back to her. Just make her look as bulky as well. Do we have any other upgrades for weaponry? Uh, sword seems kind of better. Oh, yeah, we need to tell this guy as well to actually be in our part in the cavalry party as well. I don't think we have anything too crazy. The male gauntlets are probably the same. He's got really good gloves. He's got better gloves. I mean, she could go up, but again, she's an archer, so I don't really want to boost her up to having better gloves. Um, yeah, there we go. Actually, was that better? No, wait, this, this uh, Western Gambersons... No, it's not. Yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry. All right, we're looking good there. Well, I think that's all our upgrades. We've got a bunch of resources. Again, we could maybe give over a spear, like a better spear to this guy, a Western Short Spear. No, his current one is way better. Way, way, way better. What about ourselves? Yeah, we're actually, that's currently the one we're using, uh, which is fine again. So just double-checking, because, again, it seems like you guys are getting kind of annoyed at me for, for not, like, focusing that stuff down. That's fine. 
Um, oh my god, we got another lord here as well. How many more do we need to kill? I guess we can chase him. But obviously, we're not going to be able to get him. Um, so I guess we'll just set the siege. We'll just set the siege down. We have plenty of food. We have uh, decent uh, cohesion. Um, so I guess we'll just siege the town uh, and begin. Again, our engineering isn't amazing, but we can obviously continue to focus that up. Um, so this is going to be a pretty hard settlement to take. I've fought on this settlement before, um, and it's actually pretty difficult to try and take. So uh, we definitely need to ram because I want to try and get my men through the gates. We'll get that, and then we'll start building just some onagers, I think. Um, we'll just build, build some fire onagers, and hopefully by the time... Um, wait, what? What happened? We made peace! Are you joking? Oh my god, how? I was just about to take their major city! Oh man, that sucks! That sucks. Look at Batania as well, taking all this territory. Oh, well, I just wasted all my influence for literally no reason. God damn it, AI. The AI in this recent patch is much more likely to make peace. Oh, my God. All that influence wasted, all that manpower, all that excitement brought down. Now, what do we do, man? What do we do? I guess we see if anyone has any missions for us or anything to do. Um... Tell me that this guy has more of a quest. So we'll get the main quest done. Because I'm, I'm intrigued to see. Because obviously if you don't know. When you complete the main quest. You can go ahead and. Uh, you go ahead and you can create your own kingdom. Or you can give the banner to someone else as well. So I'm pretty interested to see what happens. When we give the banner to someone else. Because I haven't obviously done it before. Man I'm so sad. We're about to have some an epic siege battle. And I guess now we just have to wait for Valandia to go to war. I guess we can farm our influence though, so it's not the end of the world. We can kill some people and upgrade our army and stuff, but yeah, we, we need war. Um, and we did just waste a lot of influence trying to, to make that happen. Uh, I guess what we can do though whilst we're here is just get rid of some of these bolts and make a little bit of cash. Um, I think we can also get a another workshop up and running, which is obviously something we're going to want to do. And maybe, maybe start a, a caravan as well. Unfortunately, we don't have anyone good who is, uh, yeah, is decent at... Uh, doing trade, but I guess we can start farming it early and the quicker we do it probably the better it is and I think uh, I think doing it um, You're gonna need around about 15. Yeah, I think you need about about 15k to do it So that's obviously something we will look to do and so who's on horseback here that needs to be put into group three There you go now. He's part of the cavalry you need to be part of the uh, the archers I mean you guys are part of the infantry and you need to be part of the cavalry as well. So we have we have uh, we have uh, Rataghost leading the infantry. We have Garai the Red leading the cavalry uh, with a Brick Skull as well. So that's perfect. Alright, well, I'm kind of a bit... I mean, I guess we'll just look for tournaments and, and quests and just boost up our renown that way, right? Um, you know, until we go to war again. Because I guess we are at the mercy of the... Uh, yeah, I am at the mercy of, of, the, of the kingdom, you know, of the king. Um, I don't... Oh, that's a... One, oh, I thought that was a two-handed mace for now. I said to say that would have looked pretty sick. Oh, these weapons are so brutal. They just literally... I know I said this last time, but they literally just two hit. They're insane. Oh, my God. Oh, how did he beat me there? Oh, there's some blocking going on here. Oh, my God. He hit me with his swing. Oh, my God. I haven't got a single hit on him yet. Oh, that was lucky. That was not my best performance. I, I, I'm getting a little better at blocking, but that was not my best performance in the tournament at all. Um, so we'll just keep on skipping. I guess I could be betting on myself as well. Um, oh, because I was double checking, but I wasn't going to run out of money. We'll bet on ourselves next time. It's basically free, free cash. There we go. I need to keep my distance. That's something I've definitely learned. Uh, it's keeping my distance so that he can miss his strike when we get a free hit off on him. The guy who just won also is pretty uh, pretty lightly armored. So actually, I, what I want to do is I want to keep this guy on me and let the other guy just strike him. Yeah, he's getting double teamed now. And not in a good way. Now we can just take on this, uh, this guy. Is this one of my companions? I just shield bashed him as well. No, he's just a sturgeon. Oh, we can't bet. Oh, we can still not around here. There we go. We'll start betting on ourselves now. I just wasn't sure if I was going to be able to do this one. Nice. We're on a horseback, which is pretty good. My horseback skill, I think, is uh, pretty decent. So we'll go around. We'll obviously put our lance down like so and just one-shot him. Like so. We killed his horse. Unfortunately, I was needed to be a little bit higher there. Oh, he might take down my horse, though. We'll get out of the way of them. We'll turn around and I will try and uh, get my lance down. Like so. 
The thing is, I kind of find it so hard to turn. You need to be obviously at a certain speed as well. I really don't want to fight him in horse on horse, uh, foot on foot combat with a spear because it's so slow. Let's just try and get some distance because obviously if we can get our lance down, we one shot him. So can we get it down in time? Oh, I ran into a bloody tree. Yeah, he's hitting me. His horse combat is never that exciting. There you go, 73 damage. Should be one more hit and he's down. I feel like, like unless there's a lot of terrain, it's quite hard to bring someone all the way down when you're on a horse. There you go, easy. On to the next one. And we're in the final, I think. Yeah, we're in the final. I'm only making as much money as we could if I bet on myself in the beginning, but it's fine. I was trying to do my lance before, before I had the speed. So this is fine. We can obviously get our lance down here. We just need to aim higher this time. A higher, higher, higher. There we go. Boom. Boom. It'd be really cool in this game if there was jousting tournaments as well. That'd be really dope if there was a jousting tournament. So we made like 800 gold. Could have made a lot more, obviously. Gained some decent renown as well. We're up to 225. So we must be close to clan. the next clan. Oh, we're not actually. We're well, well, we're really far away. God damn. Uh, but that's fine. We also have actually have another companion as well, which is something we should probably look to fill up. Um, I heard someone, the, like, we find someone who was, is lucky in their name. Apparently, they're really good at tactics. So that's probably one of someone we're going to be looking for. Obviously, if we come across any of these minor factions, we'll bring them down. And we'll also try and ramp up our tactics throughout this as well, because boosting our tactics is always good. And hopefully, the king just decides to... Uh, decides to go to war with someone because I want to get my hands bloody, whether it's Britannia or, or whoever. Probably Britannia or Sturgia is probably going to be our number one target. Did we also, yeah, we lost our good prisoner as well. That kind of sucks. Um, yeah, let's continue just to get better archers there. Our force is looking pretty deadly right now. Again, I'll, I'll continue to take everything, even though it's not, not worth my time clicking, but it's fine. Uh, let's hunt down these guys as well, as they might actually have a lord or two we'll be able to capture. Oh, the, the, someone's trying to pass a law as well. We can obviously look to improve some relations in it. Um, yeah, we'll just uh, auto-resolve this one as well as it's so in our favor. We lost a man, um, but it would have been no one, no one of value. Oh, I didn't even lose it either, which is all good. And hopefully we made some more friends as well. We're taking prisoner for the influence. And uh, yeah, oh, the landing peasants, but we don't have any room for them, unfortunately. A legionary or two is not a, a bad thing. Either. I don't think we need any more missiles in our army. We just need better infantry. We've already got like, you know, 30 good, really good crossbows. I think we just need more infantry and we just need more cavalry. That's what we really want to boost ourselves up with. Because our elite infantry, there's barely any of it uh, in here. Again, we'll take all your prisoners as well. So let's go ahead and, I guess, give up all these prisoners. Again, we'll just take everything. Um, and who's trying to pass the law? Vote for noble retainers. Ooh, this could be kind of good for us. Uh, tier 4 clans gain influence and the party size of their leader is increased by 50. I mean, lots of people don't want to do that. Is it because we're, all is it because we're not the, a clan? We're just all clan rank 3 or something? Uh, yeah, they're all lower clans. I mean, I don't really care if they have more influence, but I guess we'll vote with a majority and we'll just spend a little bit of influence to increase our... Oh, the king passed it anyway. The king doesn't care. Okay, the king can ultimately decide, but obviously he goes with the... Uh, with the with the majority most of the time, but I guess he he really wanted this. It's not the worst thing in the world because the higher tier clans can just have more men, which means in war will be a lot more uh, you know formidable. But it means obviously they'll be a lot more powerful and be able to kind of use their influence to make sure that they get the best cities and stuff like that. Um, again, just double checking we're not at war with anyone. Unfortunately, not. Uh, yeah, so I think they've made it so that factions do make peace a lot quicker in the game now. So which is always. Always a good thing um, if they do make that, I guess. You know, it can never be a bad thing, right? Because it stops one faction from steamrolling constantly. So, yeah, I'm not I'm not against that whatsoever. Um, do you guys? So we'll go to the, the dungeon and we'll donate all our prisoners. And it seems like there's a mission here as well. Because getting people to like us is also pretty goddamn good. You know, look at that, another 50 influence. Because if people like me, then they're obviously going to support me. And this is a pretty easy mission. just And it helps us get our charm up as well. I've been really struggling to figure out how to actually get my charm up. I know bartering, uh, you get your charm up. But is bartering... Bartering's just selling prisoners, is it? Or, or what is it? Like, let me know in the comments what's the best way to get my charm up. Um, because, yeah, I've been having a little bit of trouble with it. Um, and you obviously, you need that, uh, like, charm can be, like, is it so important when forming your own kingdom to convince other people to join you and to get married and stuff like that. Uh, so this is a pretty easy mission, the company of trouble. We just have to find someone to, to buy our mercenaries, and to do that, we just have to basically, uh, get lucky with our, with our charm improvements. 
So again, we will we'll see if we want to do it. So we just have to get two right, which shouldn't be too hard. Apparently, I can click these skills as well, but I, I don't know if it actually works. I mean, these skills are obviously, you know, kind of getting to part of it. So we need to get them up. And uh, I mean, hopefully we'll be okay. 60% critical failure. Unfortunately, we failed on this one. Uh, but hopefully as well, with the uh, the two times XP to, to skills with your character, hopefully with that on as well, we'll be able to uh, move on. Comedy of Trouble noticed. Oh, so they're stealing some of my food now as well. The bastards. That's fine, though. We'll go back over to... Um yeah, we'll go back over here. We could also think about starting our own second party as well if we wanted to, uh, as we do have a decent amount of money. Um, come back here, sir. Oh, there's another guy here as well. Yeah, we could think about starting one of our companion parties up as well. Um, so again, I mean, we should basically get this. There's a 60%, percent, 74% chance and a 60% chance. Oh, yeah, and a 60% chance. So there you go, easy. It's the easiest free grand I think we've ever made. I think what we want to do though is we want to get a caravan up and running first, and when the caravan is up and running, uh, we'll we'll look to uh, maybe start our own party because with the caravan up, we should probably have enough money. Another tournament here as well, um, so we'll bet on ourselves from the get go. We'll sell all our goods at all. Oh, that's not a bad shoulder place as well. Um, yeah, we'll bet on ourselves from the get go. And when we have a caravan up, I guess I'll get us another party up and running as well. Try and focus down this guy. Oh, that's a beautiful swing. Now we're fighting one of the heavier knights. Just need to get our distance away from him. And we obviously also need to go into our swings. Obviously, some overheads would be good. Some slices in. I think his helmet is really good, though, so we probably don't want to. Probably still want to go with a body. That was a nice little swing. Okay, we just need to get out of his range. Can we get a nice little swing when he misses? Yeah, that, his helmet's actually not that good. I thought his helmet would be a lot better. So we will go for some overheads. Go. Nice. Yeah, going through the head, obviously. I thought his helmet was a little bit stronger. I was fighting someone in uh, in another campaign, and their helmet was just insane. It really, really was. Uh, I was doing like four damage to it. Oh, God. Um, I don't like these because the range is a little bit disturbing. As soon as we get the first swing, it's over. Look at that. Boom, boom, boom. And he's down. This is obviously a tournament episode today. Uh, going around, just boosting our round. But it's a good way to make some, some easy cash, honestly. Um, and go from there. Just again, 1v1s to the final. Oh, this guy will have a good helmet for sure. So I think it's better probably... Yeah, this, will be, this guy will have good stats as well because he's, like he's like a high lord. Oh no, he's not. Wait, he just got... He must have been really low HP joining the tournament because I just did like 30 damage to him and brought him down. Brutal stuff. I think as well, what we'll do is we'll go talk to the king and maybe we can convince him to, uh... Maybe we can convince him to, to go to war. Also, he's doing... I guess my armor is actually just really good because no one's doing, like, any damage to me. I guess this is very expensive armor. Uh, with the new patch they added in, they added in a bunch more armor that we can use. Like, my own armor is just, like, doing a lot of damage. Yeah, we're taking, like, 15 damage a hit. Nice, I like that. Okay, our spacing was good on that hit. I mean, obviously, using a shield is easy. Get him a little bit further away. That shield bash. We'll use shield bashes a lot more tactically now. Yeah, our helmet, obviously, is not as good, though. We just took a lot more there. Oh, my God. Just got hit again. I swear my shield was up there, but I guess not. Maybe we have to actually face up a little bit more. Nice, 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 nice. The right swing is obviously my easiest one, but uh, I'm getting better at it. A bit more now. We've got some shoulders and also 15 grand. So I don't think we need to do that much more, honestly, to uh, to get our caravan up. As I said, I think it's around about 14k. And just having that residual income would be great. Also, as we said, we're looking for uh, someone else to join us as well. Again, no, I think we're looking for someone who's called the Lucky uh, more than anything else. Are there any more missions here as well that we can grab up? Uh, no more missions at the moment. Um, but, you know, obviously as well, like, we are making friends around here. We'll go kill some looters whilst we're here as well. I'm really sad, though, just as we set siege and it, it ended. That is so upsetting. It really is. But it's not the end of the world. I guess it gives us some time to prepare for the next war. 
Um, you know, continue to boost up this around, get some more stuff. And these Valandian footmen are increasing their rank as well. And I think ideally what I want to do at some point is probably have like a line of pikes as well. Because the Valandians do get like heavy spearmen at the end. Um at the end of the uh, of their spear tree. So I think getting, grabbing something like that would be great. We'll just kill these Lucas and then we probably will have enough to um, get a caravan up and running, which is obviously what we're we're aiming to do. And we're getting some decent level ups from this. Obviously being from Valandia as well, uh, we are gaining some really, really nice bonuses. We've got a Berserker as well. That's pretty exciting to see a Berserker in our ranks. Oh, we have two Berserkers. Oh yeah, I remember because we fought some Sturgeons, yeah. We we'll obviously continue to boost our residual influence as well. Um, but yeah, as soon as we get a castle, we can start getting a lot more influence per tick as well, uh, which is really important. Um, so let's give up all our gear. And I think we'll have enough, because uh, I think we have enough crap here to, to make enough money. Um, again, we'll save some equipment so we can smelt it. Actually, that leather one was probably better. Honestly, the one we just sold, it's probably better than the half the stuff we have. I mean, to be fair, a lot of our guys have some really high tier stuff. And some guys just look cooler as well. But she could probably have this instead of a scarf. Yeah, that looks kind of cool. It kind of fits her archer archer theme, I think. Any better boots as well? No, everyone has like good 23 stat boots, right? Um, yeah, everyone has like 20 plus defensive boots besides him. And these leather boots are a bit better for him. Okay, hopefully the guys who are getting annoyed at me are not upgrading my dudes. Uh, are a little bit happier with me. So we'll just sell all this crap. We literally don't need anything besides the gloves, probably. Yeah, everything besides the gloves we can sell. I'll keep that weapon, and then that's everything. Right, we could also sell this to make a little bit more money. Yeah, maybe we'll sell some of our iron, uh, just to kind of rack up our cash a little bit. We'll sell our steel. I know steel is obviously very valuable, and fine steel is probably root, but we can't smelt anything with it, so I think I'd rather just get the money, uh, so we can start getting that residual income. So that should, be, that should be plenty now. So now I don't know who we need to talk to. We need to talk to uh, one of these guys. We'll probably wait till daytime as well, just so it's day. I think maybe the wheeler will talk to him and see if we can get a caravan up and running. And then we're going to have to think about who we want to send off to actually be a part of the caravan as well. But once that caravan starts start making some money, it should start making us like four or 500 gold, uh, hopefully. Especially because we're at peace as well. It should be, shouldn't be getting raided or anything. And then once that's done, we should be good. I'm Henry, sir. I am Henry. I want to form a caravan in this town. We have 1,500 gold. We can do that. So who do we want to send off to do it? I mean, no one obviously is great. Um, maybe break skull. Maybe break skull. I mean, he, he breaks skulls, so it's not exactly the best. But we already have Rattagos. I don't, can't remember who's better, but no one's going to be good at trading whatsoever. So let, let's send off Mr. Break Skull number one, and he'll go off on his own. And I mean, I guess it's good that like we send a good commander with them as well. Or well, not a good commander, but a good fighter. Because at least that way, uh, if they do get attacked, it'll be fine. And there you go. He is off on his own. If we go to the, the party tab now as well, we'll be able to see him uh, off on his own. Yeah, he needs to have up to 60 men as well. So I'm, I'm kind of happy with that, um, that he is doing his own thing. And, and hopefully over time, that will just level him up as well. Yeah, because he's actually an amazing two-handed sword fighter. He's daring and cruel as well. So yeah, good luck on you, sir. Um, he has some okay charm as well, so maybe that'll help him in his trading. I don't think there'd be anyone else better to send, right? Because, like, no one has good. And I don't want to send, uh, Neva Healer either, because she's, uh, our, she's our surgeon, and she's, uh, yeah, pretty good. Um, we have a good quartermaster here as well. Um, so good. So he'll go off, and he'll hopefully start making us some money. Hopefully he'll raise his army as well when he gets a little bit better. Um, so, yeah, it's all good. Um, so one thing we probably want to do, uh, in a second as well, is probably... Oh, yeah, we need to get rid of our, our looters as well. Is... Oh, we created an army. What, are we at war? Who are we at war with? We're at war with no one, so why are you creating an army? We're literally at peace with everyone. And he's creating... Look at that as well. They only had 2,000 men left. We could have just demolished them. The king is creating an army, though. I don't really know why. To go around and kill looters? Like, what's your plan here, sir? What is your plan? So obviously continue to donate our... Um, no, we don't want to donate to the garrison. We want to donate to the dungeons if we have anyone left. I can't remember. Yeah, just a few more looters. It's like three or four influence. But it adds up, right? It adds up. Um, so I guess we'll just go, over, go around and continue to kill looters. We've already done some tournaments and stuff. So, yeah, I mean, I'm ready. I am ready. There's a lot of actually... Oh, there's a hideout over here. Yeah, let's do the Sea Raider hideout. Because I've never done a Sea Raider hideout. And they're generally really, really strong. Um, so we can kill these guys. And just hopefully force into a, a pretty fun battle against all these guys. If we can encourage it. So let's try. 
Hopefully the looters got involved as well. Yeah, they did. Cool. Because the Sea Raiders are obviously a lot stronger. I remember on my warband days getting run down in the in the Nord territory by just a million of these like heavily armored, chain mailed up infantrymen who were yeah definitely not to be messed with. And yeah, we actually have no cavalry whatsoever. That needs to be sorted out ASAP. So let's move up now with our with our infantry. I mean, obviously they're going to charge me as well, so we don't need to go too far, but. We're just about small infantry line. God, my army looks so much smaller than the forces we were just commanding. But it's fine. Uh, so let's just move up. We'll try and harass a few of them. And obviously, we want to be careful because I think they do have throwing axes as well. But we'll, we'll, we'll just stick around here. Maybe try and do a bit more damage. Let my missiles continue just to hammer off on them. I do obviously want to get my infantry stuck in as well, actually, because because uh, I want to level them up right as best as I can. The higher, the more kills my infantry get, the more level ups they get, obviously. So that's obviously something we want to focus on. So this is just a training mode right now. And what I might do as well, guys, uh, going forward, if we, like, by the end of this episode, if we're not at war with anyone, I'll probably just play again off camera um, until we do go to war with someone because obviously you guys want to see combat, you want to see sieges and stuff like that, and you don't want to see me just kind of going around slaughtering and two-hitting people like that with this huge great axe. I love it. How? Yeah, our, our pole arm skill has gone up quite nicely, and hopefully our two-handed skill is getting up there because I, I want to be able to, like, storm the battlements just like that. Oh, we can also give over some throwing axes and stuff to our companions. Like, especially, like, people lead... Oh, he already has throwing axes. Yeah, I think we're fine, then. Um, yeah, I think we're fine. Any better armor? This is... Yeah, no no better armor and stuff. Again, just going to constantly check just to make sure. Uh, I guess probably weapons is something we could probably do. Um, but let's move into this hideout. It looks like it's a pretty small hideout, so it should be fairly easy to take down. I wonder why the king did create that army up here, considering we're not at war with anyone. It's kind of weird, right? It's kind of weird. I wouldn't mind going to war with, like, Britannia or the, or the Norse, honestly. Or the Sturgeon, sorry. Either of them would be cool. Also, look at that kind of, like, re Oh, Oh, we just automatically fight him? Awesome. Well, I guess we'll just have an all-out brawl with our men, because why not, right? I could duel him, right? Which would be a bit more honorable, but... Uh, no, I don't fight with brigands. Let's just go. Like, these guys are going to be hard to fight, but we get experience. What the hell? What about our axe? Oh my god, we literally just like two hitting people. Our numbers proving their worth. The range on this axe is insane. Easy, boys. Easy, easy, easy. Oh, I guess what we could actually do as well in this peacetime, actually, is what I could do is I could actually look in the encyclopedia uh, to find where the guy is. To find where the lucky companion is. A nice, nearby notable... notable. Oh, actually, I didn't, did not realize about clearing hideouts improved relations with, I guess, people who own this territory. That's good to know. That's actually really good to know. Um, yeah, so let's uh, let's go let's go on the Encyclopedia and let's go home. Let's go to Companions. Would it be Heroes or Companions? Um, I'm not sure. Would it be Wanderers? Yeah, it'd be Wanderers, right? And then we need to find someone who's lucky. So I think this guy, um, and, and where is he? He was last seen uh, in his territory. Oh, that's actually relatively close. That's the place we were currently sieging. Uh, yeah, let's go talk to him, because if we can get him as our companion, he can be a good commander, because I think he starts off with, like, 60 tactics or something, which is obviously really, really good. So if we get him in our party, and we then send him off on his own uh, to form his own party, then that's really good. I think we can do it anyway. I might be making that up. I might not be able to even do it yet, but... Uh, I'm pretty sure we can. So we'll make our way back over to the city that should rightfully be ours. And uh, yeah, see if we can get him to join our join our um, join our crew. Can I, I wonder what the, maybe the king is just preparing to go to war with the Norse again. I think we should obviously fight Britannia. Fighting Britannia would be great for our son. Just got uh, taken prisoner as well. But when we've done, we have plenty of food. A new law: vote for the Council of Commons. Interesting. Everyone wants to do it, so I guess we'll support it. Each note. Oh, each notable yields one influence per day. To the settlement. No, I mean, we don't own anything. But, I mean, I guess it's good for the kingdom, right? Um, we'll just spend 20 influence to get people to like us a little bit and just show that we're supporting them. So, hopefully, that should boost our relations with everyone. Um, the king doesn't really like us that much. but So, the Valandians will start letting all citizens meet and vote on some issues in the comments. That's kind of good. We've got some good policies going. We've got five out of the 30 policies already passed, which is, which is good, I guess. I still don't feel like we are personally uh, good enough to, to really start passing laws ourselves. Yeah, let's talk to this guy. I believe he's really good. And even if it costs us some money, it'll be it'll be worth it, I think. It'll be worth it. 
Um, I could use someone like you in my company. Oh, I can't afford it. Wow, am I really that broke? Apparently, it would seem I am that broke, but it's fine. I went ahead and sold some of our gear. I'm also going to smelt down some stuff whilst we're here. We might as well... Uh, we might as well try and, you know, take this down and continue to level up our smithying. Again, with the, uh, with the, uh, two times XP mod that I have on, it should be boosting up our ability a lot faster as well. And I'll make some better ingots, because that'll probably be a good way to do it. And then we go, we're out of stamina. Again, I still stand by my reasoning of it should be like a party pool stamina, but you should just be able to get all the smithying XP on one person. I guess it doesn't really make as much sense, but I think it would be better for the game itself. So now we've got enough money, we should be able to get him, yeah. That's fine. So he's joined our company. Now we can see what he is. And as I said, I believe he has around about uh, 90, uh, no, sorry, 60, um, 60 tactics. Yeah, he does. So he, he actually is the best tactics out of anyone, which will make him the better leader, um, which is, again, good. He obviously needs armor and stuff. We don't actually have any because I just sold it all, um, but it's fine. We just need to, again, go off and, and fight some more people um, and bring them down. Hopefully the king will... We'll go to war with someone soon enough um, because, as I said, we uh, we desperately, desperately need combat or something, you know. But I guess we can just fight off some uh, some sea raiders and stuff like that, looking for combat. Uh, we could even start a war if we wanted to, but probably not the best idea. And there we go. Um, or are we just gounding another... Oh, there we go. War of Britannia. Perfect. Literally perfect. War with them immediately. Um, I guess they took one of our people prisoner. It would seem to spark a war. Uh, so this is great. Uh, the king immediately forms an army. We want to obviously immediately form an army. We are actually losing a, we're losing a lot of money. I might actually have to loot a town then quickly. Yeah, there you go. Valandia declares war. Because I guess they attacked us and took us prisoner. I might loot a town quickly to try and get us some cash. Because we're about to go into debt. So um, taking these guys on. Raiding this town is probably our best bet. Uh, let's just raid the village. And they want to stop us, it's fine, we can take down the peasant militia. Okay, a massive war has now erupted with them, so that's always good news. Uh, but from what I remember, their men are mainly just, uh, just militia, so we should be okay. Yeah, there they are, they're mainly just militia. We'll get the archers, like, here, just to shoot in. And we'll get the infantry, like, up here, so when they come flying around this gap, our infantry will mess up. Oh, there's infantry here as well. Oh my god, there's loads of them. Archers about to come in. We get the infantry stuck in. Cavalry can charge as well. I guess the missiles can charge? Or just, yeah. Missiles actually, missiles actually going off from the AI command. And we'll get in, stuck in here. Try and pick up some of them trying to bring us down. Actually, we'll whip out our axe. And we'll, we'll go hammer time on them. We missed there. A bit too over long. But we can kill probably both of these guys. Yeah, two kills there. Oh, I love this axe, man. It's probably my favorite weapon. And with our amazing armor now as well, we don't really take much damage either. Oh, I love being able to just swing down and just kill two people. It's amazing. It really is. There you go. They're breaking. But we'll, we'll, again, we'll rack up some extra kills. We'll get us a little bit more money. The extra plunder should help. Maybe, hopefully the plunder does pay enough for us so we can survive another day or two. Obviously, these prisoners will be good. And this will be a hard fight, right? Because I think the Titania or Bethania are actually pretty strong. When it comes to uh, manpower-wise, they have a lot of lords uh, that might be very difficult for us to bring down. There we go. We'll just continue to, just, uh, to bring these guys down. Level up our two-handed skill, which is definitely getting up there now. And the two-handed skill tree has some really weird, really, really weird upgrades in, honestly. Uh, it's like you get like extra garrison size and stuff like that. It's uh, yeah, it's, it's quite it's quite different and unique, honestly. Um, so obviously we'll take all the prisoners. I won't, I won't pay for anyone else because I'm hoping we'll get some, just some money from looting. Doesn't look like that is the case though. But these guys do not like me, but we'll be able to get some loot here, um, which will be nice. Yeah, we'll get some more grapes here. That's some good food, I guess. There's lots of food which you can just sell at market. We'll just keep an eye out that no lords are coming our way. Yeah, my, uh, my men are a little bit pissed now as well. My lord, yeah, he's not gonna be lucky. Uh, he's not gonna be happy that we didn't pay our men, right? Yeah, it's fine. I, I will pay our men very soon. It's just your, you, getting you, you on my side was uh, a little bit too much, eh? Okay, we need to leave now. Um, we need to get to a city. Uh, this city will be good enough for us. We should be able to reach right in time. We didn't get all of the loot we wanted to. But selling the gear we just got from that should be fine. So at the moment, I think it's, yeah, I think it's our caravan that's costing us the most amount of money right now. Paying his wages is uh, yeah, hurting us uh, quite a lot, actually. But hopefully he can get his way into the into the town. We didn't pay again. Oh my god, that's not good. 
Um, hopefully we can rack up enough men. I guess this is why you guys are telling me to, uh, to sell all my gear, right? We can sell some horses. Uh, some of these horses, yeah, I remember we're good. We're perfect. We just need to boost up that morale as quickly as possible. An Imperial Spear? Uh, it's not better than the one we have, so we'll sell that. Oh, we have eight of them as well, my god. Lots of bows. We'll keep, obviously, all the food because food is obviously very good. And there you go. Just selling a few of the, the really good horses that we have is great. Let's, uh, also, you guys were telling me that I needed to upgrade my horses on my guys as well. Give them better, better cavalry. Um, so we could, yeah, let's give them a war mount there. And you can't actually have an Imperial Charger. So that saddled horse is probably us, me, sorry. No one else is on horseback there. So we got six grand now. That should make the men a lot happier. He's just waiting outside here for me, isn't he? Maybe we go and fight him, you know? Like, we've all, we have a lot of men. Maybe we recruit some more men and just go out and, and engage him. Like, he doesn't outnumber us by that much, right? He's 88 of his men. He has a lot of infantry. The infantry's scary, but we have a, a lot of men as well. I mean, let's just wait here for some time. Yeah, he's going to go off now, which is good. Hopefully, it'll allow our caravan to start moving off as well. Yeah, he's still losing us money, but hopefully over time. I, I mean, I guess it makes sense. Maybe we, we obviously needed to wait a little bit. Until we had a little bit more strength. Oh, yeah. Who's it? Who are these guys at war with as well? They're, they're amassing a force as well. Uh, they're at war with no one. Too, too, too exciting. All right. So, we need to get back into friendly territory. And we need to start sieging. Um, and get ourselves to castle. I guess I don't really want to take the castle I just looted. Uh, I don't want to take this castle. Because these guys hate me. Because I just looted them. But maybe, like, trying to take something up here would be good. Uh, maybe taking this castle would be good. Uh, yeah, to push northwards, maybe. There's uh, also, like, maybe something up here would be nice as well in the mountains. I probably want to stay south, though. Oh, we're actually attacking here as well. Let's head our way up there. But that will be for next episode, guys. So we are ready to get stuck in uh, next episode, which should be very, very exciting. So make sure you guys are, you know, subscribed to the channel. You hit that bell notification. I'm also pretty tempted to fight him, but I'll keep my men. We'll play safe for now. I'll make my way northwards, and we'll, we'll get stuck in. So let's actually just look quickly. How many men do they have in total? Um, is this going to be an uphill fight for us? Uh, yeah, slightly. But with us fighting, I'm sure we'll be able to turn the tides. So make sure you drop a like and a comment down below, guys. Let me know if you are still enjoying this series. And I'll see you guys in the next one.